Specsavers is proud to support the Green Hour. Let's work together in preserving the planet. Siswe, good morning. Welcome to the Green Hour. Thank you, Karas. Thank you very much. I'm so good to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where, where are you based and, and what are you up to these days? What are you studying? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm from Guanabusha in Utenaik. I was born and bred there, but I'm presently in Johannesburg attending a course in social enterprise at the University of Johannesburg. Wonderful. This is a prize that was awarded to us uh, through Zuka by the city of Johannesburg. Wonderful. Uh, have you always been somebody with a, a innovation in mind of trying to make and invent new products? Uh, in a way, yes. Uh, I could say that because uh, in my past uh, uh, work experience at Telcom, I would always find different ways of mm. doing things, which mm. sometimes landed me, to, landed me into trouble with uh, my previous <laughs> bosses. But uh, learned later, it landed at Telcom. I, I learned I related quite well with my and my former bosses. Yes. I think it's wonderful to hear because uh, innovation is such an important part of a country's growth. How, how did you hear about this Global Clean Tech Innovation Program? Where did you hear about it? Uh, I was uh, a winner in 2014 of the Gauteng Accelerator Program, mm. what they called the Gauteng Growth and Development Agency, uh, which is housed at the, uh, the program housed at the Innovation Hub in Pretoria, mm. where we won third prize of that uh, of that competition. And through that, we got to hear about the GCIP, sure. and uh, since then, we've been part of it, yes. Wonderful. So tell us about Zuka Yetu. What is it that you guys do, and, and what have you come up with? Mm. Uh, Zuka is uh, colloquial for the five-cent coin, when I got it, mm. and uh, many people don't see value in five-cent coins. Yes, of course. But if Chiefs and Pirates are playing at F&B Stadium, <laughs> uh, 92,000 people will fill that stadium. And Chiefs is playing very well, obviously. Now they, they're not. So if you were to f- ask each individual at that stadium to bring us one five-cent coin, they will collect 4,600 rand. Wow. So there are resources out there when I that people don't see value in. And you, using this methodology, we are able to use this concept to extract value from mm. resources that people may not necessarily see value from. Uh, what we're doing, as Gershwin has just Elinda, Elinda pointed out, we are busy with the waste beneficiation in the waste beneficiation space, Wonderful. where we turn vegetable waste, fruit waste, and garden waste into organic liquid. Uh, pesticides and fertilizers using a biotechnology known as vermicomposting. Wow. We also uh, uh, lend a, uh, we bring in a, lend a bit of indigenous knowledge, which I picked up from my grandmother and grandfather in Lendo, in Mlanganiswe in Liberty in the Trans Sky. Wow. Uh, issues around using ash as a, an insect repellent using your garlic, your uh, aloe, and all those types of things. So we infuse all those types of things, and there's lots and lots of these widely and freely available leather plants and all those types of things in nature that we infuse into Zuga and come up with a brand of Zuga to address whatever pest challenge that you have in your garden or whatever fertilizer or soil conditioning challenges you may have for whatever uh, uh, crop that you want to plant. What's lovely is that this is a natural product that you are making, and it's uh, it's combating one of our daily problems that we have with the, with the easiest possible solution. Uh, uh, th- this sounds like a, a solution for South Africa. This is something we need. Absolutely, absolutely, correct. And uh, the, the, the uh, Zuga is not only addressing this issue around uh, pesticides and fertilizers, but uh, as you asked, why uh, you asked Gareth the question earlier, why is it important to have GCIP today? Mm. Uh, we have many challenges that we're facing. We're facing challenges of unemployment, challenges of food insecurity. I mean, Gareth, we have people that are eating input lizards that I know mm. from rubbish bins. Uh, people that are scavenging food mm. from island or from waste dumping sites. I mean, outside of my township, Gornobusha, as you go to Motherwell, we've got people that are staying there. Yes. And this Lander project seeks to bring the people's dignity back, where we want to teach people Wonderful. how to how to be self-sufficient, and instead of eating the, 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 the contaminated food, use that food to, to, to create a product that they can either sell or produce good food that they can eat or even sell to earn a living. It's very inspiring, uh, Siswe, to hear your story and to hear the wonderful work that you guys are doing. 
Is, is your you. products already available? I mean, would, it, would I be able to go out and, and purchase them somewhere? Yes, for me, it is available, currently, current, but uh, we are holding towards being available in shelves very soon. Okay. Uh, we are following up with registration with the Department of Agriculture, which then would allow us to be in shelves at, at uh, hardware stores and nurseries nationwide. Okay. So, Isabel, just finally, um, the award obviously is, uh, and the program has done wonders for you just to assist in, in, in your growth. Um, what, what's been some of the highlights, and would you recommend uh, somebody getting involved with the GCRP program? Mm, absolutely, absolutely, uh, Gareth. Uh, highlight, oh, challenge by Minister Pando. Uh, she handed me the award last year, mm. and uh, she led, issued a challenge to me that we need to create these jobs, which is something I'm very passionate about. Because Wonderful. I would rather have people lend uh, plant their food or do those kind of things. Uh, and one project I would like to have to see is uh, see trees, fruit trees, when are correct, planted, planted on the city streets mm. instead of the trees that are planted now for or for only shade. Yes. That then I want. I would like to see. I was talking to my mom before I left that uh, she was concerned that the plants that are planted, people are going to steal them. Then I said, let them steal. Yes, I'd rather yeah, have them steal in the street the fruit that is growing in the streets rather than coming to my house and trouble you alone there or steal my car when it's parked outside. Yeah. So it's those kind of things that uh, the, the, the minister I'd like to I'd love to answer that challenge that she put on me, Elena, to Elena, to create the jobs that we had promised that we will create. Mm. And uh, also, yes. it's a very, very uh, 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 wonderful opportunity to be associated with the GCIP, and I would encourage uh, every, especially young people, to be a part of this and uh, come, on, come on board and see what they can do with their innovation. Well, you're a success story. We're very proud of what you've done, representing not only this region, but uh, the true South African story. Since we're, um, all the best for the rest of your project. Keep, keep Stay in touch with us. We'd love to hear how things go, and uh, all the best for your studies today. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you very much, Gareth. Cheers. Bye-bye. You're listening to Gareth Burley on the Specsavers Big Breakfast.